the Cecil Frail Stakes is next. Uh, this is a listed race for fillies and mares only for well, three old fillies. And uh, there were six furlongs. Let's have a look at the list. The penalised Pucian Marion is at the top for Vinnie Gerard, almost blue. Steve C, Countess Celine, Paul Rhodes, Duck Hunter, Joshua Sutherland, Fairy Godmother, Michael Scarner, French at Venn, CDJ Liggett, Gallivant, Suquay, Rod McClure, Martine, Joshua Sutherland, Paranormal Goddess, Paul Rhodes, and Royal Carriage for Obi Wan. So, ten of the men in this Philly sprint. All installed and ready to go. And away they go. And it's going to be the first to show it looks like almost blue. Right there on the far side was interested in the lead. Down on this near side, Countess Celine is also up there looking for the lead as well. So there's about six of them in a line across the track at the moment as they go through the first furlong. And the one that's going to win the battle for the lead looks like being almost blue. So it's almost blue then in the red, who's just about in the lead from Royal Carriage in the yellow in second. Right over on the far rail is Martin, one of the two Joshua Sutherland horses. He's the other one, Duck Hunter, is up the centre of the track. The one that's even wider still on the track is Countess Celine. Fairy Godmother is the other one in the the leading group. The, these have pulled clear of the back four as they race into the final two and a half furlongs and almost blue is just about in the lead from Fairy Godmother and Duck Hunter. Royal Carriage is battling on so too is Countess Celine Gallivant. Sukhoi is trying to run on from the back but the leading five are still well clear as they hit the furlong and a half point and it's just about Royal Carriage in the yellow in the lead then now down on this near side is Countess Celine. Duck Hunter next inside the final furlong still four in the line. Countess Celine just pokes ahead in front. Duck Hunter's coming through the challenge. Martin's got the rail as they race up towards the line then it's going to be Countess Celine Duck Hunter finishing fast there was Fusion Marion but I don't think she got anywhere near and Countess Celine has taken it Fusion Marion couldn't handle the penalty and Countess Celine has taken it from the Joshua Sutherland pair I think well, two of those at the back never got into it at all it's Countess Celine who's taken it for Paul Rhodes Duck Hunter was second and Martin third both for Joshua Sutherland, Pucian Marion for Vinnie Gerard was probably a little bit disappointed in, for, in fourth with just a three pound penalty and then Gallivant Sukway for Rod McClure was fifth.